everybody, I'm Vivacha Max Victor. Welcome to my series, Stay Fierce. This is episode one, Revealing Concealed Light. My dear fierce ones, I've decided to create this message to remind you that you're so much stronger than you know, and that especially at a time like this, you have the opportunity to go within, to tap, reveal, and unleash your inner fierce. I found this wonderful definition of fierce. It says, exhibiting boldness or chutzpah. Now more than ever is a time to exhibit boldness and chutzpah, the boldness and chutzpah to rise up on the inside and to become the best version of ourselves. This is a defining moment. It is so important to take the time to proactively decide who do you want to become on the other side of this. While I don't know what your individual situation is right now, I do know that you have so much more power on the inside of you waiting to be revealed. In Kabbalah class, they used to say, concealed light waiting to be revealed. We have the power to reveal so much concealed light, especially right now. We can use this time to journey within and to spiritually strengthen. We can choose to allow our trials and tribulations to strengthen our inner fears, to elevate our standards for how we show up, and to supercharge our drive to contribute to others. For some people, the greatest way to reveal concealed light is to use this time to learn how to self-care. Perhaps this is a time for you to learn how to supercharge your self-care, your self-love, your self-worth, your self-respect, and your self-trust. For others, a powerful way to reveal concealed light is to give yourself permission to ask for help. For many of us, this is the most difficult ask of all. This is an incredible time for self-mastery. Two questions worth asking are, What is the call to action for you? And what do you want to transform within yourself? I invite all of us able-bodied individuals to fiercely rise up, to be more, to do more, to give more, while we honor ourselves and our well-being. So I asked my spirit during this COVID-19 time How can I best contribute to others while exercising self-love and self-care? My spirit told me to do the following three things. Number one, create a series. Choose to stay fierce during uncertain times and post it to social media. I told my spirit, but I don't really do social media. My spirit told me, do it anyway. Don't limit your contribution to things that are easy for you. I agreed. The second fierce action that my spirit told me to take was to pledge to a few people to send them weekly gift cards for their groceries for 12 consecutive weeks. I agreed and I made my pledge. This reminded me of the time right before my 12th birthday when my mom and I left my dad and my brothers due to domestic violence. And we had nowhere to live and we lived on the generosity of others for food and shelter. I remember how uneasy and embarrassed I felt to reach for food at other people's tables, all the while feeling so blessed to receive the gift of food and shelter. No one should have to ever feel that way. My story, How Grace Saved My Life, is on my website and YouTube channel. The third fierce action that my spirit told me to take was to sign up for the retired medical personnel in New York City to be ready as reserve medical personnel to serve the COVID-19 patients, especially as the numbers rise. I agreed and I signed up and I'm ready to serve. Some of you know I have an autoimmune situation myself. Rest assured my immunologist has cleared me for this. I understand that this is not the right decision for many and I understand that this is not a popular decision, but this is right action for my spirit. This is not a time for judgment, This is a time for solidarity. Fierce walks the talk. Last week, a CEO of a company that I work with texted me and asked, how are you doing through all of this? 
I thanked him for his text, asked how he was doing, and I continued with, I think this is an incredible opportunity and leverage for all able-bodied individuals to turn within and to deepen our spirituality and faith and gratitude and to strengthen our mental and emotional prowess and reserves. It's an opportunity to reappraise our mental and emotional strengths and weaknesses and it's our choice to fortify our mental and emotional strengths or not. I think it's the responsibility of all able-bodied individuals, especially those with physical strength, to empower others spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. So I won't give myself permission to complain. I think it's unethical given how so many people are truly suffering globally. The day after I wrote that text, my mom and her partner's COVID-19 results both came back as positive. Knowing that they were both suffering gave me even more reason to choose to stand stronger and to choose to refuse to complain. Let us remind each other to internalize our blessings, to stand in our power, to choose to stay fierce and to reach for grace, and to choose to use this time to powerfully transform, to become an even greater blessing to ourselves and to others. If you're not sure how you can best contribute to yourself and to others, turn within. Hush all the external noise and you will clearly hear your spirit's guidance and wisdom. The answer to everything is within you. I trust that you know what's right for you. I would love to know, while you're honoring your well-being at the highest level, which three fierce actions are you willing to take now to reveal concealed light? Fierce reveals concealed light. Taking empowered action to reveal concealed light makes fierce, badass fierce, and spiritually responsible. My fierce brothers and sisters, please remember that you're so much stronger than you know. You have the opportunity to rise up on the inside to reveal and unleash the many flavors of your inner fierce. Please keep front of mind how unique, capable, powerful, strong and fierce you really are and choose to stay fierce during uncertain times. XOXO, Vivace Max Victor. Thank you so much for watching this message. Please make sure to share this message with others and please follow on Instagram and on YouTube. And if you'd like to watch more of my videos, please go to my website, fierceselfconfidence.com or check out my YouTube channel. Until then, stay fierce.